up guys, it's Arctic here, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to custom water cool your PC. So right now, I've got the complete RGB liquid cooling kit from EK, it's the classic RGB S360. And we've got a 2080 Ti Z490 Orange Master. We've got the new i7 10700K, and a bunch of other stuff, including custom cables, um, GPU block installation, I will teach you how to do that, and Radiator. So let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so first things first, to water cool your PC you need at least 900 millimeters of distilled water. And I, I think I said millimeters, I meant to say milliliters, so I've got two. Uh, I think 500, yeah, it's most likely 500, I didn't check. And that's basically all you need, you need a screwdriver. Um, and yeah, let's get into the build. First things first, you've got to unbox that. Okay guys, so first things first, you'll need your CPU motherboard, which is the Z490 Aorus Master Gaming motherboard, your RAM sticks, if you have an M.2 SSD, and your, what is this uh, called again? Uh, why do I keep messing up? It's called the, hmm, what did I, it's the CPU block, oh my god, okay, that took me ages. Alright, anyways, first things first, unbox the motherboard, and wow, this is such a cute yeah, first things first, you gotta take the motherboard out, um, grab a bunch of Aorus stickers, I think, yeah, and also, wow, well, Pry Tool, uh, thank you Aorus, um, you grab this, the Aorus Master stuff, um, SATA cables, don't know what the hell that is, and now you can close the motherboard box, get the motherboard out of the phone, chuck the phone aside, and just get the motherboard out of its anti-static bag and put it on the motherboard box itself. So this is such a good um, motherboard. All right, so first things first, install the um, CPU. So first unbox this. After you've got the motherboard, uh, I mean the CPU out, what you wanna do is lift up this lever and pull it out and there will be a triangle on that pin on that, and there will be also a triangle on the um, CPU. So all you gotta do is find that triangle on the um, socket, and then just gently drop the CPU in, and that will be it. Alright, so now after you've done that, just press this down, and then this thing will come straight off. So you can just put it aside. Don't chuck it away because you might need it later on. So now we can start installing the M.2 drive. So grab your screwdriver kit and um, locate where your M.2 drive is, um, where your M.2 drive housing is. Um, now I'm just gonna, I mean, suck it. <laughs> That's my bad. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take this off and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now after I've done that, I'm going to install the M.2 drive. So all I gotta do, push it in at a, like a 35 degree angle, and then it should go in. There we go, and now um, take your standoff screw, which is this one right here, um, push the SSD down, and then screw this in, and you installed the SSD, so, oh my gosh, I forgot to do something, great, um, yeah, you guys are wondering what I've done wrong, if you haven't seen this, there is a heat pad on this. So I've got to remove the heat pad first before I can install this little boy. So let me first remove this sticker. That's taking ages. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Let's get down. Oh my gosh, I really hate this. At least my tip has magnetic on it. Okay, that's there we go now. We've done that. Just install this thing back on. And we'll get back on to the build. 
Okay guys, time to install the RAM sticks now. So first things first, you've got to unbox this RAM. Um, the way I unbox these kind of packages is I go from the side and then there you go. That's how you do it. These are DDR4 um, 16, it's a 16 gigabyte kit. Uh, so we'll be taking advantage of dual channel. So yeah. Um, now you gotta check with your manual of which one you need to put the RAM sticks in. Okay, so usually they will be in A1 and B1, which is one and two. Otherwise, some motherboards will make it two and four. So first, let's just um, open up these two memory clips. And these only go in one way, match the notch with this um, thing here. So um, now use two hands to push it in and um, see in the video, you see is I faced it the wrong way. So now I'm gonna do it the right way, which is this way. Okay, so first things first, what I would do is first install the IO shield, but this one already has an IO shield. So there's no use. Um, let's first drop the uh, motherboard in and line it up with the standoffs that um, are pre-installed and if you don't if they're not all pre-installed make sure to install them yourself and we're going to bolt them down with these kind of with these kind of screws and yeah let's do that okay, so after you put the standoffs on what you want to do is take the thermal grizzly um, uh, actually this is the EK one uh, you need to take um, in the, and just put a little bit in the middle. The P dot method works the best for me. That should be plenty. And now uh, stick the block on and make sure to peel this thing off before you actually use it. So peel that off and set the thing down, uh, the block down is what I'm going to say. Now afterwards, just place these springs on each of the. Um, Holes and um, and then screw them down with these um, uh, what is it called thumb screws and do it in a cross cross pattern so everything tightens nicely. Okay, um, I forgot I was using a Intel fifteen eleven fifty um fifty no it was a twelve hundred R uh, socket so you have to mount it in the case first so. First, let's just do the radiator while we're here. Um, obviously, you've got to unbox your radiator. And um, yeah, make sure your radiator has the holes facing these ways. Now, you want to know what configuration you want to have on your fans. So, um, you can mount the fans at the front um, for intake and the radiator on the front for intake. And you can also mount it at the front, um, so it can have the front fans pushing into the build and then pulling fresh air in basically is what I'm really meant to say. And also you can also mount them on the top, which is what some people like to do, um, but I'm going to install mine on the front, so yeah. guys so I have now installed the um, radiator so I've done uh, I installed them all in one uh, took the fans uh, into the radiator and that is the pull configuration I've done I've also done this I uh, need to route this cable behind um, I just need to route that cable behind so that's my bad and now let's get on with installing the pump res combo Okay guys, so I came across a little bit of a thing. I can't install the pump anywhere, so I have to hot glue this down onto the tempered glass PSU shroud, and I just hope it goes correct. And yeah. Okay guys, so now I've installed the reservoir and connected it to the pump header. Time to install some fittings. So what you do is you first unplug these um, radiator plugs, and that's them aside because obviously you need to install fittings on these things and not these plugs so after you unplug all of this um we're gonna take about take open one of these um fittings and you want to unscrew the top bit and it will become 
will become two. So now you want to install install the male portion into the hole. And I know that sounds really sexual, but bear with me for a second. And now you can just um, slam that thing in and do the same thing with every with every fitting you've got. So just install all of these into the app and I will be teaching you guys how to install the GPU water block. Okay, so now what you guys want to do is to, this is to install the GPU block, so what you got to do is take your uh, Phillips head screwdriver and just undo all the screws on the back plate. Okay, so now after you've taken uh, the back plate off, time to take the side IO um, bracket off. So where you do that is the same thing, you take apart these two screws on the side, um, and my bit came off. Okay, so. You, you take these two screws aside, and this is pretty easy. Just use the Phillips head, and this one is really tight. Okay, yeah, just use the Phillips head and then unscrew these um, screws, which is like one of the easiest screws to do. Now, now you can flip it up and you can undo this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. So, after I take these out, I will see you on how to take the heatsink and the fans off. Okay, so now after I took the bracket off, it's right here. It's time to peel the PCB off, so be very careful when doing this. Um, but it will take a little bit of force uh, for you to crack this open. So after I crack this open, which is going to take me a little while, or not, because I nearly got this open, um, I will see you guys that time. Okay, so now after you've done this off, you clean off the GPU. Um, you want to install thermal pads like the ones I've done in this video. And now after you finish the, installing the thermal pads, just you got to remove this um, blue um, cover on it. So this will take me a while and I'll teach you how to slap on that beautiful graphics card block. Okay, so now what you want to do is grab the same thermal paste and do just a little bit of thermal paste again. Now grab your GPU block and if there is any um, Wow, it has a good reflection on the camera as well, haha. <laughs> okay, so now you can just um, install this block in and then just make sure you line everything up correctly. And then, oh my god, whoops, I pushed the cable. That's why my bad. Okay, let me first take the cable out of the GPU. And then uh, after you made sure that everything aligns properly, um, you can now flip it over. And your screws back. Alright, so now after you've um, screwed in the main screws of the water block, now what you want to do, uh, and also the bracket as well, now what you want to do is to install the back plate on. And this is pretty simple, just do it the same way that you did it last time and it should be able to fit. Okay, so right now we need a uh, we need to install the uh, modular cables if it's a modular power supply onto the power supply. So first things first is the 24 pin motherboard and that goes right here. Uh, just push it in until you hear a click and that should be in. We now need um, the 4 plus 4 PCI the CPUs. And also for some reason we also need a Molex so we have to plug the Molex one in and we need a um, the PCIe um, cable so let's plug one then let's plug this one in here and there we go after we plug this one in we need another PCIe cable and I need to grab one of those so Okay guys, so now it's time to install the PSU. Make sure the fan is facing down and just uh, slide the PSU into where it should be and fasten it in with these kind of screws. I'll show you which ones they are. Okay, so using these kind of screws, um, these ones here, you will install the, uh, what is it called? The power supply into its holes and make sure you install it correctly otherwise it won't work because obviously if you don't install screws correctly it won't work so just install all these screws in the holes that um, have screw holes so after this okay so now you just need to grab the um, one to four um, cable that came from the uh, e 
DK RGB kit. So now what you want to do is just find all the um, ones that have RGB headers on them. Make sure you match the little arrow that I'm pointing at right here with an with the arrow on the um, thing with the uh, cables. So you just plug these guys in, and then yeah, so you can just find all the ones that have these kind of um, connectors, which is the RGB connector. You can just connect these together and. Um, make sure, as I said, to align all the um, arrows together. And that is it. Okay, so there is a oh, whoops, uh, there is a 12 volt RGB header up here. So what you want to do is face the arrow here with the 12 volt symbol, and just plug this into the motherboard. And okay, so everything's coming right nicely. We've got the CPU. Everything is ready. So what you want to do is to not do this 24 pin cable and also how about let's just install this GPU block first so the way you install that GPU block is to first if you come over here is to unscrew this PCIe lock which is um, one of these PSU cables that I mean what, why did I say cables I mean PSU um, what is it called um, PSU uh, PSU screws, that's what I was meant to say. Oh, I nearly knocked the glass over. Okay. So after you've taken out these two, it's time to put these away. And the GPU is a little long. What? Okay, we have a problem. That is too long. This GPU is very long, so I have to move the reservoir. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've got basically everything ready. Time to do some tubing now. So, we will do the tubing. Um, so first things first, uh, plan out your loop. Um, this is the out, that's it. I'm gonna go out into the GPU block, GPU block into the, um, into the radiator, radiator into the CPU box, CPU out to the reservoir, reservoir into the, what is it called? Into the pump and that's how my loop is. We'll cut the tubes to the sizes and I'm going to teach you how to put the tubes on. Okay guys, and the way you actually put it in is to shove this tube in, put in the fitting and then tighten it up. And that is how you do your loop. And now just connect the 24 pin cable into the PSU hub or the PSU bridge I would say. and never run the pump drive. We're gonna fill up the coolant. I'm gonna teach you how to how to make the coolant. All right, so now um, I've got the uh, build ready. You need to connect the 24 pin to the PSU, well, the PSU bridge, and that will be it. Now, make sure you got everything ready, and now we're ready to make the coolant. Pour 900 milliliters of distilled water in here, and um, grab the um, coolant, give it a little shake, you know. Yeah, give it a little shake, pop it open. Oh, wait, this is these, you have to press down. You have to press down and open this um, kind of bottle. And then, poke a hole with like, I don't know, screwdriver or something. Oh my God, the bit went in, all right. Now you can just proceed to pour the concentrate in after I get a bigger hole than this, which I'm gonna probably use a scissor. Come on. There we go. Right now, that's a bigger hole, but for some reason it's not still not there. Anyways, I'm just gonna do it with my hand. There we go, that's better. Okay. Now that's the concentrate done. We will um, be ready to pour this in a bit. Um, so let it set for a while and yeah. Okay guys, afterwards proceed to put paper towels in underneath. Grab a funnel, turn, get off the cap. And then we are going to pour the coolant in. And now what you want to do is look at it and make sure it does not run dry. So open up the PSU. There we go. Now just keep on doing it again and again with the distilled water until the whole thing has finished. Okay guys, so now I've finished this build. It is all working and running. I just did a test right then. And don't you say it looks pretty cool. Um, GPU block, CPU block, two reservoirs, and 
course the pump so yeah guys i know you can see my reflection so thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye